Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. Well, Paul has a game, kind of like a game show for us, and uh, it's got some rules. And it sounds really complicated, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to come back and play this game. He's going to explain it to us right after this. All right, Paul, give us a quick rundown of this game. So my wife and I were watching TV and we came across this uh, game show called Win Sanity. And I said, well, maybe we should try that on the channel. But we can't call it the same thing. So we'll call it like Film Sanity or something like that. And all you do is you put numbers in order. Okay, that's all you do. So we're going to start with four questions. And you're going to order them from lowest value to highest value. Okay. okay. You're explaining it better now than you did before. <laughs> and you got more? No. Okay, because Mark's starting. When he gets one wrong, we switch back and forth. And I take over. And if I get it wrong, then he switches back in. All and the way it, up to 10. it's down to the last man standing. All right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so order these. Mark? What is the record holding total domestic single day gross for Avengers Endgame. Okay. The estimated annual earnings of Wayne Enterprises according to Forbes. Okay. The Superman we all know created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster first appeared in Action Comics number one in which year? The number of dollars paid to Burt Ward, who played Robin in the television series, per week in Batman's first season. So tell us what you're thinking here. Okay, so I'm thinking the, the highest value would be the estimated annual earnings of Wayne Enterprises. Okay. okay. And you think it's around the area of how much? I would think that it's in the billions. It's... It's Wade Enterprises, okay. right? Uh, record holding domestic single day gross for Avengers Endgame, uh, I think is next. Um, I don't know where that would land, but Endgame made a lot of money. And so... What do you think it made on its opening Friday? Uh, worldwide? Uh, does it say... It says domestic. Okay, so... I don't know. Um, Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands? Well, it pro probably made about a hundred thousand dollars in a single day. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't you agree? He can't Maybe tell not. <laughs> all right. Now, the Superman we all know and love. I don't really understand. Like, are you talking about what the value of this comic is? So the year. The year that the Action Comics number one. Right. So if it came out in like 1939, I know it didn't. But if it came out in 1928, even it's one thousand. That's that's the value yeah. given yeah. to it. Okay. Yes. And the number of dollars paid to Robin in the TV series. In the TV series Batman, which was a long time ago. I'd be surprised if he made five bucks a week, so five, five that's bucks. what we're doing. <laughs> so that's the line. Hollywood stars, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Hollywood do stars. you want to go from lowest to highest or highest to lowest? Does it matter? The highest is on the top. Yeah, okay. highest is on the top. Yeah. Okay, so the estimated earnings of Wayne Enterprises. 31.3 billion. Okay, okay. Good. Your reasoning was sound. Right, yes. Okay. The domestic gross for Avengers, the record holding movie. Wow, okay, so over 100,000, so well over 100,000. <laughs> yeah. Hundreds of hundreds of thousands, yeah. as a matter okay, of fact. So. so it's 157 <laughs> million. million. Okay. okay, good. But when numbers get that big, they're hard to... Wait, what year did you think? Yeah. Action? One, once I get my paycheck and anything over $20, I just lose track. Because <laughs> it's just... Like, I don't know, probably like 1920 something, 1930 something. Okay, I well, I liked your first answer way back. You said 1939? Yeah. Because this is 1938. Okay, good. All right. You lost a dollar, but... Yeah. yeah. Robin was paid... 350 bucks. Per week. Per week. So I got them all right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, that was a superheroes category, obviously. 
Now we're going into romance. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna. You're not good at this. I'm at not all. gonna fare so well. I remember romance. you in high school. <laughs> Don't, no, you gotta put them in oh. order. Oh, still? Yeah, you gotta fit them in. Oh, okay. The value of the necklace in Pretty Woman, the case snapping scene. Okay, well that is gonna go. Wait, there's Wait. three. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Put this wherever you think you want to put it. So Here. describe where you put it. I'm putting it between uh, the 1938 Superman and the 157 million uh, for the Avengers Endgame. Okay. The number of pages in the novel, The Notebook. And I am going to put that between the 1938 Superman and the $350 a week. I'll have what she's having from when Harry met Sally is ranked number what in the American Film Institute's top 100 movie quotes? Well, that's going to have to go yeah, it's a pretty simple under the 350. There, because there's a limit of 100. Okay. Look that over. Do you want to lock in your list? Lock it in. All right. Do you think he is wrong? The only one he might be wrong is, is the number of pages in the notebook. I've never read the notebook, but I think it might be under 350 pages. Okay, well, let's go top to bottom. The value of the necklace and pretty woman? $250,000. Okay, so you got that right? Yeah, good for me. The number of pages in the novel, the notebook. Ooh! Uh, I was right. 214, 214 pages. Don is up. Okay, wait, wait, keep it there. Oh, because you got your other one. Okay. Our new contestant, Mr. Don, is coming in. What would you rather do with this list? Well, I'd have to change these two. Okay, so you're moving what? I knew that the novel was under 350 in pages, so I moved it to second. Okay. And in a list of 1 to 100, it's going to be less than 214, so I'm keeping it where it is. Okay, so... I'll have what she's having as rank number 33. Into war movies. Oh, Ooh. and Don gets war movies. Lovely. <laughs> the costuming team for Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that's not going to help me at all. <laughs> created how many custom made military uniforms? Where do you yeah. want to put this? Mm. Custom made uniforms. They might have only made custom made for the main stars. Infinity. Well, for now, I'll put it there. What's the next question? Marlon Brando arrived on the set of Apocalypse Now, having never read the script, and was this many kilograms overweight. Can we put that in pounds? Because I'm better in pounds. I'm uh, old. Well, you have to answer in kilograms, but this is... Um, what? How many? What's a kilogram to a pound? <laughs> That's leading. That's leading. 2.2? <laughs> you can't say stuff like or that. Or is that kilometers to miles? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's inches to centimeters, but... Describe what you're doing. Okay. I decided that the custom costumes, I'm trying to think that they did a lot of soldiers' costumes for the D-Day scene. So I put it between 350 and the 214. Marlon Brando, overweight. I know how large he is. 2.2 uh, kilos, 60 pounds. I'm guessing that's more overweight than 33 pounds. So that's what I'm trying. Okay, so go top to bottom. They made 3,500 um, custom-made military they uniforms. They did all the, the entire thing then, yep. Wow. Okay, it's time to switch contestants. Mr. Mark, welcome. Ooh. Hey! How you might, doing? That might not be a good thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this obviously goes up here. Oh, well, you didn't ask him. <laughs> you asked me, you didn't ask him. Now, are you happy with this list or would you like to change it? Um, hmm. I'm actually going to move. Uh, I'm going to move Marlon Brando's uh, kilograms between 214 and 350. So you think he was more than 214 kilograms overweight. 
That depends. How much is a kilogram? Huh? You wouldn't let me do it. All right, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a feeling Don's going to be back in real quick. Okay. I have a feeling you're right. Well, given that 214 kilograms would be like over 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Plus his own weight. <laughs> but to be fair, I have to... Turn it over. Yeah, I do. I yeah. have to turn it over. It's 40 kilograms, which is oh, equivalent to... Should have kept it where it was. 88 pounds. Yeah, okay. Which is exactly where I had it. Before but, you moved it. It's my turn. There's one more question. Yeah. Yes. We welcome contestant Mr. Don. Now, if I get this wrong, does that mean Mark wins? Yes. No, because yes, you don't get to guess anything. So. No, but it means you got it wrong, so I win. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a tie at that point. We'll tell you what. If you get it wrong, I will not reveal the answer, and we'll see if Mark can get it. Oh, there you go. Okay. After the release of Home Alone 2, families flocked to New York City's Plaza Hotel to stay in Kevin's Suite for this many dollars per night. Hmm. The Plaza in Kevin's Suite. Ooh, I, you know what? I remember something. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm putting it just above 3,500. And below 250,000. Yeah, I don't think a hotel suite <laughs> is 250,000, but 3,500, I've spent more than that on an inside cabin on a cruise ship. For so. a week. Yes, but a night. this is a suite that held a family of saying. 20. <laughs> Are you sure that's where you want? I'm going to try it, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Mark, where would you rather put it? Right under 3,500. Uh, it's over 250,000? Mr. Don, where would you put it? Hmm. What year? Oh, that was probably 95-ish. Uh, Mark, where would you put it? Right there. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> hey! hey Eleven hundred dollars. I forgot to take Ooh. into account the year when I was putting that in. <laughs> you know what? A suite at the plaza for eleven hundred dollars a night is pretty darn cheap. Pretty good deal. I know many cruise ship cabins that are well over that right now. So, uh, it looks like you suck at trivia, but you're good at game shows. I can put numbers in order. Or... We just ran out of places to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, at the end of the day... <laughs> Mark locks into a win again! Yay! <laughs> Let's go get Don some salt. <laughs> oh, I congratulate you on this random chance guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, this guess that you did was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, now that I'm thinking about it... And it made hundreds of thousands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On opening day at one theater. And it did. In Milwaukee. <laughs> and it did. It made more than $100,000. Dosh Garnet? <laughs> Several hundreds of thousands. Yeah, that was pretty good. Well, there you go. <laughs> Whatever we're talking about. Uh, an interesting game. I don't think we can play it too often because I don't know how many number games there are out there for this sort of thing. Everything has numbers. Yeah. 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 Like, Mark has one win so far. Congratulations. One is the number. One is the number that we are talking about. <laughs> but the good news is, it's almost a new year. You can start again, fresh. I've had a, a couple of wins this you year. You have this year, yes. Last year you zilch. This year, I think you got like four or five. I beat you in a reveal a couple weeks ago. Four or five. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever scraps we give you, you're just going to take, yeah. take it out there. Well, congratulations, Mark. Uh, fun game, Paul. How did you guys do? I think we uh, had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, why not check out some more of our other videos down here? Down here. And until next time, we'll see you on the channel. <laughs>